Welcome to Trionic 7, the YouTube channel for Saab enthusiasts. I'm Jonathan and I'm here with my 2002 Saab 95 Aero in laser red. And as you can see I'll be changing the engine air filter in this video. The only tools you need is a T25 Torx bit and a 10mm socket. That's it. Changing the air filter is quite an easy job, but the workshop instructions tell you to raise the car. But the point of this video is that it's actually possible to do it without raising the car up. So the air filter fits just underneath the car. Even though this is an arrow, which is slightly lowered, uh, you might have trouble doing this if your car is even further lowered. But I'll guess that if you just drive the car up on a curb and you'll have a few more centimeters of space, this will be possible without a jack. If we peek down below, you can see the air filter housing which is this one, and a few bolts you need to remove, uh, including a bolt that actually holds the front spoiler in. So remove the bolts and then just pull the filter housing downwards. By the way, for those who ask, yes, the front tires are very worn and unevenly worn, but I'll give it an alignment and uh, put in new winter tires here very shortly, so don't worry about that. Anyway, uh, the bolt that holds the spoiler is a 10 millimeter bolt, and I just pulled it out. The four other bolts are T25 Torx. One, two, three, and four. If you want, you can put some penetrating oil on them, but I think they will come up easily for me. All right, so with the bolts loosened or out, I'll just pull the filter housing cover downwards. So here we are. You might have to, if you have an arrow, and the, the lower front spoiler here, you might have to pull it outwards slightly just to get the cover off. Also there's a plastic thing here on the back side, you might be able to see it, no probably on a video. But you, you will notice it, that you have to just pull it slightly backwards. It's quite self-explanatory. So let's take out the old filter and look it through. So what you're looking at here is uh, 12 months of driving, uh, about uh, 40 to 50 thousand kilometers on one air filter. As you can see here where the uh, snorkel comes in, there's a lot of dirt trapped in the filter. Also on the back side there's uh, some stuff, I don't know what that is, some insects and some debris. At least I'm happy that this is not inside the engine. And here you have old versus new. Uh, the new filter is gonna be a stock OEM filter, so a genuine Saab filter and uh, obviously it looks nice and fresh. You can just see the part number of the genuine filter here, Saab 5556-09-11. So putting the new air filter back in is simply doing the opposite of removal. So put the filter onto the air filter housing cover and then uh, put the filter back in just the way it came out. With the cover on you can really see how tight the fitment is under the spoiler. There's actually no space at all, the filter is uh, pushing towards the spoiler, but I can get it in here in the front. So if you have a lowered car this is difficult, but as I said just uh, raise the car slightly by maybe just pulling up on the curb or something, and uh, this will be very easy. The cover is back on with the filter, and as I said before the only trouble you will have is if you have the sports skirts, like on an arrow. You'll have to pull the spoiler to the side as well as this plastic thing in the back. Uh, otherwise it's just easy sailing, put it back in. Put the Torx bolts back in, make sure the filter housing is snug under all around. You don't want to get any dirt or debris into your engine. The next step is to put this nut, or sorry, this bolt back here on the spoiler. And done. Changing the air filter is one of the simplest service jobs you can do in your car and uh, I highly recommend doing it yourself, even if you never touched a car before. It is very simple, and it took me 10 minutes, and then I was filming, and I was even talking a bit on the phone, so maybe five minutes for you to do this job tops. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip video from Trionic7, the YouTube channel for Saab enthusiasts. You guys are awesome, this channel has been growing so much, I've had so much good feedback from you, you seem to be really enjoying these videos. The purpose of this channel is to help other Saab enthusiasts to bring the most out of their cars. And uh, with, with respect to that goal, this channel really seems to be doing well. 
So I'm really happy for you, all the community out there, all the sub forums. Uh, thanks for your feedback and thanks for your comments. Uh, I'll be sure to make more videos in the future. So if you have any questions about this air filter change or anything else about sub cars, just leave me a comment here in the video or follow us on social media. We have Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit and Instagram. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.